Oh, you didn't think I was gonna leave you behind. You're so silly. We're in this amazing RV park in St. Augustine. And Sheila has left me. She is going to spend some time with her friend Renee, which is, a, I think she lives, she moved from Kansas City to here a few months ago, and she's about an hour away. So I dropped Sheila off. I'm by myself, I'm not having too good of a hair day, of course, but I have not really talked too much about RV parks. So let's open this up in St. Augustine at this amazing little RV park. I'm gonna run up to the front so you can take a look and then we'll kind of do a quick tour and then I'll share with you some stuff Sheila's been working on and show you maybe she's got something about the strawberry festival or something I don't know let's run to the front real quick a man and a woman left their home to switch things up and go on the road and they didn't know where they would go but it's gotta be better than staying home The park is called Sun Outdoors St. Augustine. It's right off of this lovely SR207 road. SR means state road, if you didn't know. But on the entrance, you actually have a wonderful little, you actually have a Dollar General back there, which is good if you need some, you know, milk or little things. But as you go in, I think why I like the park so much is it's just kind of tucked off of this road. And the sights are amazing, the people are fabulous, they're very professional and they keep up on everything. It's a good little find. If you're traveling around an RV, you kind of already know that, right? I mean, it's hard to find good quality parks. So let's run through so I can show you some of this. Front part of the park is pretty much like gravel sites, like you have, but they're evenly spaced out. The trees are great. And then you come over this little bridge that's right here. And then all of the sites turn to these wonderful pavers. Lots of room. And a wonderful comfort station that has like your gym amenities and then your washer and dryer and stuff. It's, it's a fabulous little park. I really like it. We've been here now probably one of the longer periods, seven, eight days. And so especially going in to St. Augustine itself, it's only like three, four miles. We could actually ride our bikes if we really wanted to because there's bike paths along the road. Yeah, this is a great park. Let me take you and show you some of the bigger pad sites, and then we'll finish up before we go find Sheila and I can fill you in on some other stuff. As many of you know, we're not huge like park review channel type situations, but when you get sites that have wonderful pads, the way they conduct themselves very professionally, and you have extra room, and they're just really nice, you're gonna find out that when you're out traveling, they're not always easy to come by. So just sharing the really the ones we really enjoyed. I think rate is around $80, I believe. Somewhere around there, Sheila always does the booking. Let's talk about Sheila here in a second. But as you can see, just really nice. You can see Shrek and Fiona over there, just chilling. Whew, really enjoyed that. Okay, yes, Sheila has left me for the evening. It's not very often that I'm left by myself, so I thought I'd just share with you something different. Um, number two, if you're new to the channel, she's actually started working on a newsletter that we just sent out our very first one that's gonna cover in that newsletter some of the maybe the RV parks that we've really enjoyed uh, that you could actually receive that information. I believe we're gonna do the newsletter once a month and it'll show upcoming events, it'll show our merch and all that other fun stuff. Come on, look at these sites, this is, this is fabulous. It's fabulous. It's a little bougie, but it's good. It's good. So let's go find Sheila. I believe at the Strawberry Festival, and that'll be tomorrow. It should be interesting. I, I don't know what to expect from a Florida Strawberry Festival, but you just never know. Sheila is not with me at the moment. I have to go find her. In this crazy turn of events, we are at the Strawberry Festival, and she has been spending some time with a really good friend of hers. And they said, "Come here." After two hours of waiting in line at the Strawberry Festival parking, we are now going in to see what this is all about and to see if we can find Sheila. Wish me luck. 
<laughs> and jump right in to Florida Strawberry Festival time. Here's Sheila. Yep, this is my friend Ryan. And Ryan. What insanity is this right now? Because well, that was almost three hours. To get here? To go three miles. I don't well, know. Was it, what, well, it was, was it, like it wasn't an hour. For for us. It was like an hour for the last three miles. So tip, if you're coming to the Story Festival, come early. Come early. Don't come later. Come when it opens. But let me tell you, Todd, what you're getting ready to see. Uh -huh. Ryan, why don't you tell us what we're getting ready to see? What are we going to see? Um, you're going to see a lot of cars. <laughs> cars. There's cars. There's a car show over there. Yeah. yeah. And there's a lot of strawberries, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I want to smash food. strawberries with my feet. Can I smash strawberries with my feet? I think that's, that's a lot. little weird. That's a little weird. <laughs> We're not here. We're not making wine. We're no strawberry wine. Obviously, this is a big deal. It seems like it, but then when you get in there, you're like, it's a little underwhelming. It's very underwhelming. <laughs> underwhelming. It's the world we're going to use, and I haven't been there yet. But let's, let's go investigate the strawberry, the fields, the strawberry fields. There was a song. I think it was about heroin use, but there is a song <laughs> called Strawberry Fields. Well, you're only. You get to get strawberries right here in a flat. Oh, you get strawberries in a flat? Yeah. You don't get to pick them? No. I don't even get to pick my strawberries and I waited three hours? Right. What kind of gig is this? That's where you get your strawberries. Right there, just so you know. And we just discovered the world's largest ice cream truck. Right here. This could be a first. This is a first. Yeah. Did you get any ice cream from the world's I did not. I did not. Oh so man. You go in and you go up. You go in and up. Yeah. yeah. It's cosmic. It's it's like a cosmetic experience. Is that what it is? Yeah, I don't think that's a word, cosmetic. Make it death out of the form too. Yeah. One lemonade. Thank you so much. Y'all have a great day. Thank you. Enjoy. They're doing the cutest baby contest. There's nothing like having self-esteem at such a young age. That's all I'm saying. Might as well just build it up so little Jimmy can have a, a ribbon or a medal when he gets older and he can say, I won, I was the mom. I could be who you want because I know that I need to be happy too. Ryan, they're voting on the cutest baby. Yeah. Now, we don't know what baby it's going to be because we didn't get to see them all. Right. But there's nothing better than being at a festival to tell dozens of parents that their kid is ugly. Yeah. And only picking one. Yeah. This is like news reporting at its finest. It'll be awesome to see which baby is the cutest and which are the ugliest. <laughs> oh, no, only at fairs and festivals right. that you see this kind of stuff. All right, the judges are deliberating right now. They're deliberating over there in the corner. They took pictures of the children, which is not creepy that they take pictures on their personal phone. It, it's a little creepy. Well, yeah, it is a little creepy. So they did. So they're going through these creepy pictures to decide which baby is the baby. We don't know what the prize is. We think they have four bags. I'm going to guess it's probably top four babies, and then the rest are probably, just kind of like you. Yeah, well, probably. Just runner-up. How'd you like to be runner-up, baby? Like you were almost cute enough, but not really. That's very offensive. <laughs> <laughs> and our winner for the girls is Hannah. Hannah Rogers. Hannah. Oh, Hannah wins. She is the cutest of the strawberry. <laughs> the boys is Jack. Jack is 16 months old. Jack, come on down. We want to thank each of you for coming to the Strawberry Fest this weekend. 
It was a tight race, Ryan. Tight race. It was nice to see Hannah come sliding in at the beginning oh, like yeah. that, right at the end. I think what tipped her over the edge, though, was the strawberry outfit at the Strawberry Festival. Yes. I think Tyler's the one for the boys, though. Yeah, you think? I now, think Tyler's the one. I don't know. Jack Jacks, he's a strong contender. Really good smile. Just a few teeth. I think he was good. Look at him. Now give him some milk. And a cookie. Or a strawberry. A strawberry shortcake. Yeah. This is a true Florida person right here. What's up? No shades on fabulous. Jackson worked in the city chief. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. You just sit down visiting or yeah. what? Yeah. But I love the shades. Nice. Celebration to last for me. I think I think Ryan needs a dance. Yeah, let's all celebrate and have a good time. I want to do. It looks fun. That? I want to do that. But Ryan, that says nothing but trouble. Uh, I am like, trouble. He is trouble I'm with the, the capital C. Yes, you are. Now that is a monster truck. Of course, another Florida possibly tradition. You don't see these in Kansas doing monster truck rides. Pretty nice truck. All right, let's do a little like fun fact. Fun fact, how much do you think these tires are worth? How much? They come off fertilizer sprayers, just so you know. And the general tire, brand new, is around $1,500. But he said he only buys them used where they're already worn down so he doesn't have to shave the tread. So you're talking, he only pays $200 a piece for them. That's less than my truck. My truck tires are 350 each. There's a fun fact for you. Fun fact, Sheila used to spend time at car shows, didn't you, dear? My dad had a 57 Chevy that was very similar. To this? What color was his? Yellow. Yellow? Yep, light yellow. Do you really like car shows? Yeah, it's she kind of actually. Like, I kind of, it's kind of just something I grew up doing on the weekends. We clean the car up, go take it to the weekend, and sit there all day. Yeah, so anytime we're driving somewhere, she's like, car show! And then we end up pulling over if we can to wander around. A little bit of good. Sound in the world. There's only one car I think I'd like to have. Old car. It was my first car. It was a 1969 Buick Special Deluxe. It's based off the old Skylark, but that was my first car. $500. Dad rolled it in the driveway. Tail lights were broken. And I said, and he said, fix it. Sheila, what old car would you like to have? If you could have one of those old cars. She's a sports car nut, so she'd like something yeah, to go fast. It'd probably be, hmm, boy, I can only have one. Okay. That's uh, a problem. 69 Ford Mustang Fastback. What? Yeah. Seriously? I thought you'd say like Camaro. No. No. Okay, I gotta put the camera now. I'm gonna knock somebody in the head. Yeah, seems to, like a very busy festival. Food is what the strawberry festival is about. Not much entertainment, just food. You may have Sheila in bougie RV parks. You can't take the small town girl out of her. At the cattle corn, we got the strawberries to make her strawberry lemonade. And her, she just said we're doing a strawberry salad. Yes. We've done a car show. That's kind of like, even though we're in Florida, it's like still like feels like a 
hometown redneck roots. I got redneck roots. Oh, you sure do. <laughs> Look at how long this line is. They only take cash, right? And I came in, it was six dollars to get in, and that line just continues. Like continues and continues. Oh look! Bye. Oh bye! Bye bye! Switch it up! Right? Switch it up! Switch, Switch, it, Switch it, up. it up! I got it! Okay, you got it! Alright, have right. a blessed day! You too! <laughs> I love this. Like I said, I'm many levels. Fruits. You got some. Yep. Fabulous. They were they were up behind us in the food line. So we got to chat for a bit. Yeah, the line goes all the way back and around. What are you making? We went to the strawberry festival and we got strawberries. <laughs> what are you making? So right now I'm making some strawberry lemonade. <laughs> this is that what you're making? That's what I'm working on. Okay, Sheila has been cooking away because she's like we're gonna have the strawberry stuff, Todd. So we have the strawberry lemonade. Would, would you like some? I would love some strawberry okay. lemonade. And then she made, what is this called? It's a salad because it's heart healthy. <laughs> Do I need a heart healthy salad? I think so. So this, this is the conclusion of the strawberry fest on the fruit of getting this and making something. No pun intended. That's a nice way to end this vlog, don't you think? Was it a good, was it a good way? I can't hear what you're saying. Goodness sake. With all that being said, <laughs> and if you enjoyed this, you know, subscribe. It really means a lot to us. Like, comment, do, be a doer of all things. That's what we call that. It's because it tells the YouTube algorithm, hey, this was a fun video and other people should see it. But I'm going to enjoy my strawberry lemonade with my strawberry chicken salad thing, Bob. Okay. Okay. And I guess that's it. That's, that's all we really got. We're out. We're going to eat. <laughs> we're out. Until our next video. Alright, where, where are the feet marks at? Right, go stand right in. Alright. Well, I can't see my feet! <laughs> I know. But I think they're right here on Mark. Okay, let me- Oh, wow, look at this. What's going on? <laughs> Stop! Is he shooting correctly? How do I reload? I need to know how to reload. Okay, you're gonna click one of the buttons on your on your thing. Oh. They need to put things on your feet. How do you reload? I was gonna show you, but then you loaded into it. I back. just, I'm out here killing zombies with my hands. How do you reload? So you swipe towards the arrow. Do what? With oh, your like with your swords. There you go. <laughs> what am I supposed to be hitting? So you see those, those squares that come at you? Yeah. But when am I supposed to hit them?